so this hen is four or five months old she wasn't uh, from my flock she's from one of my neighbors and we think she has Merrick's disease some of the uh, signs are paralysis of the legs wings and neck loss of weight uh, there's a few different versions of Merrick's disease one will affect their eyes their eyes will go gray or black but her eyes both look totally normal so she doesn't have that version but she cannot move her legs at all she's not egg bound like you can feel right in here around her uh, vent she's just super super skinny there's literally nothing there and if she were egg bound she'd at least be able to move her legs um, let's see some of the other stuff skin around feather follicles are raised and roughened things like that um, there's some post-mortem things we could do if we wanted to dig into her body after we dispatch her but I don't care to do that uh, let's see so really the only thing you can do for a hen or any chicken that you have that has Merrick's disease is to uh, basically just dispatch him. Um, she's literally handicapped. She cannot move at all. She's trying to move away from me, but she can only move her head. Her wings are barely moving. Um, it's really quite sad. Her crop is totally empty. I've set some food for her and she won't eat at all. Um, I didn't see any evidence of mites, which is the other thing that would make a chicken behave like this, I believe. Mites that would get under the scales of the legs. Um, but anyways, sadly enough, that's what a chicken with Merrick's disease looks and acts like. The only thing we can do, you can uh, vaccinate birds for Merrick's disease when they're a day or two old. If you do mail order chickens, you can do that. It's like five cents a bird to get them vaccinated. But unless they're vaccinated, once they get Merrick's disease, there's nothing you can do but dispatch them. So we're gonna do that humanely. They say the meat's fine to eat after that, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to take care of her. Anyways, if your bird's acting like this and literally cannot move, that's a possible problem. You can take them to a vet, spend a bunch of money, or dispatch them. Give me your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Right, so I'm putting this video together, and I thought I should talk about... Uh, a hen when they're egg bound and the difference between an egg bound hen and a, uh, a hen with Merrick's disease. An egg bound hen will still be able to move their legs. They'll typically be able to walk. It's definitely probably more of a waddle look uh, compared to the way they normally walk around. Uh, you can see when I'm touching that hen how her legs just absolutely do not move. She can barely move her wings. Um, she'd been like this for about 48 hours, they said, um, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, if, if the hen's egg bound, you can feel back by their vent and it, you can feel uh, if there's an egg there and to take care of that, what you would do is you would just get a, a, a large bucket uh, that the hen can lay in or sit in, uh, fill it with warm water, a little bit warmer to the touch than what we as humans like, you know, like you could probably go uh, right around 100 degrees or so on the water and, and uh, set the hen in there with some Epsom salt, let her soak her back in. She's gonna try and stand up and flop her wings if she's egg bound. Um, but keep her vent and her backside under the water. Let her soak for about 20 minutes. When you bring her out of the water, 
you want a cleaner vent area, maybe get a paper towel with some vegetable oil and put that around her vent to keep it from being uh, dry and chapped and sore, make it more uh, flexible, I guess. Um, you, you do not want to squish that egg. If you feel an egg inside of her that's um, bound, don't squish that egg and break it. That wouldn't help the situation. Um, you could do that for like two or three days. If after the second day, there's nothing happening, maybe take her to a vet or take care of her another way. But that's the difference between an egg bound hen and a hen with Merrick's disease. Um, an egg bound hen will still be able to move her legs. She'll be able to move her wings around all she wants. She'll be able to walk, even though it's gonna be a very different walk. She'll be incredibly uncomfortable. Um, and the Merrick's disease bird is just absolutely paralyzed. There's nothing you can do for a, a bird that has Merrick's disease. Um, I might put some picture, and I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. If you want, you can Google what the in insides and the organs of a chicken look like with Merrick's disease. It was clear this bird was not healthy and was not gonna live, so we just dispatched her. But um, it is Merrick's disease is highly contagious. It's passed through dander and dust off the birds, things like that. So if you have a hen or a, a rooster that you think has Merrick's disease, separate it from your flock. You'll have to watch all the other birds. Uh, I believe you can vaccinate as adults as well, but it would take up to two weeks for that vaccination to take effect. So I don't know if that's gonna help at all at that point, but anyways, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you would, share it if you have friends that have uh, uh, small flocks, large flocks, whatever. Anyways, have a good one.